In this video, we're diving into the ZBS condition for a half rigid LC resonant converter. If you remember from our last video, we looked at how this resonant converter operates. The resonant tank, that's the resonant inductor and the resonant capacitor, is what charged and discharged the output capacitor of the MOSFETs. Now, because the switches are running at a 50% duty cycle, the transformer's magnetizing inductor current doesn't have a DC offset. That means its positive and negative peak value are equal. To figure out the ZBS conditions, we can make the circuit a bit simpler. Since the MOSFETs are off during the dead time, we can just focus on their output capacitors. We'll replace the resonant tank with a current source that's equal to the maximum magnetizing current. Enjoying the content? Give a like, subscribe for more power electronics tutorial. Don't miss out. So, our first step is to find that maximum magnetizing current. We'll use the basic current voltage relationship for an inductor to do that. The voltage across the magnetizing inductor is a square wave. Its positive and negative peak are the same and equal to the output reflected voltage, that's N multiplied by VO. And delta T is equal to half of the switching period. With a little bit of mass, we can get the formula for the peak magnetizing current. Next, we need to calculate the dead time. And for that, we'll use the current voltage relationship for a capacitor. The current charging and discharging the capacitor is the magnetizing current we just found. And from the perspective of that current, the two MOSFET output capacitors are in parallel. The change in the output capacitor voltage is equal to the input voltage. The time it takes for this to happen is the dead time. Remember that the input voltage is twice the turn ratio multiplied by the output voltage. So we can substitute that into our equation. After we simplify that, we get our final formula. For ZVS to happen, the dead time must be greater than a specific value, which is related to the maximum switching frequency and the magnetizing inductance. In this type of converter, the controller regulates the output voltage by changing the switching frequency. That means the frequency will vary and the worst case scenario for our timing condition is when the switching frequency is at its maximum. This is because the magnetizing current will be at its minimum. Now this is just one part of the story. The other condition for the soft switching is about energy. The resonant tank has to have enough stored energy during the dead time to fully charge and discharge the MOSFET output capacitors. We can check that using the stored energy formula. So one condition is about time and the other is about energy. And that brings us to a question. Go ahead and leave your answer in the comments below. Take a look at the waveform for three cases when the switching frequency is below, equal to, and above the resonant frequency. We set the worst case for the timing condition happens and the highest switching frequency because the magnetizing current is at its lowest. But if you look at the third figure, you can see that the resonant current is actually bigger than the magnetizing current. So here's the question for you. Why did we use the magnetizing current to get the ZVS condition in the first place. Your comments and support help us keep making this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.